I, um, I think I was right in the formation. Must have, that's where Mullins is definitely lining up on the left side of a back three. Yep. And Dejan Tetek is there's almost three in the middle of the field now. Yep. Along with Ollie Scott and um, Ashley Atpan on the right. Yep. So we were speculating three at the back before we went live, and sure enough, that's what all of are going for as we get underway here at Tamworth. Finn will take the corner, left footed from the far side in towards the penalty, in swinging corner towards the far post, and Colin and Lindbergh rises highest and powers home the opening goal for Tamworth. They've looked very aggressive with their set pieces early on, and it's a fabulous header from the giant centre half, Jordan Colin and Lindbergh. And that's Tamworth one, all a shot nil. I didn't like to say it, but that was looks like it was going to come there. All a shot. Look very vulnerable on these, and there are good corners and long throws, but they didn't deal with that one at all well. It's a free header. Dewhurst just inside the penalty area, near the 18 yard line, plays it towards Widrington, playing it back towards Dewhurst, who will launch it long. It's going to go over the centre back Ted. Here is Gandor now on the left hand side. He has support in Barham if he needs it. Gandor inside the penalty area, drills it near post. Seeing was a judge who kept it in. No, the referee has seen the flag from his linesman, who says that it did go out of play, so all the shot have a corner, despite some rather frustrated shouts from the Tamworth fans behind that goal. Yeah, I mean, that ball was in the channel, and that's where Gander, he's got that pace, he's got that vision, he gets into those good positions, and I think that ploy should be used a little bit more. Fairland with the throw, near side of the field, for all the shot, trying to, if he can, a teammate down the line, it hasn't worked out, however, he won the ball. He did win the ball back from the clearance by Bird. Lost that in the midfield, they have a tower. It's great ball over the top, though, by Ridderington. He's found Barham outside the penalty area. Jack Barham, angle to shoot, angle to strike, angle on target, but it was straight at scene. Good first time on target in the game, but... Uh, very the good ball by Ridderington from halfway. Barham took his time, brought it down, showed his experience. And he got a good shot away, but it was just uh, too close to the keeper. In the right centre half position, back towards Benny Aze in the middle. Infield now, Barham, he came deep. Good tackle there by the number 17 Willits. However, we gain possession now by the shots. Widrington, Tetek in a central position from goal, drives forward with Tetek. It's a great run. Barham inside the penalty area. Barham yeah. scores! Brilliant finish, an excellent response for all the shot town. Jack Barham finishes an excellent move set up mainly by Dejan Tetek and Barham draws Aldershot level. Tamworth one, Aldershot one, just after the half hour mark. Yeah, uh, Dejan Tetek said struggled to get into this game, but he picked the ball uh, just inside the Tamworth half, pushed forward and released the ball perfectly for Barham, and Barham did the rest. So a well worked goal, and uh, that perhaps will settle them down a little bit. Dewhurst is allowed to. Working into space, ball played towards the six-yard area, headed away that time by by one of the all-shot players. Many ages slides to clear. Here's Tonks outside the area, tries to bend one far corner. The opposite caps in Widrington with the header away. It's there's still a few time with players playing, waiting for the ball back in. It's played back into the area and it's safe, a save by Dewhurst. It's loose inside the box. Eventually, but a mixture of many Yeze and Bird got in there as the ball played back by Ray was loose inside the area and it was put behind for a corner. All, all sorts of calamities okay. there. Okay. I'm on the ball for the all green goalkeeper. Interesting colour was orange Saturday, green today. Plays it across the Meniese, north up to the halfway line. Powerful header by Willits to cut it out. It's flicked backwards by Mullins, swerving towards Ray, but the clearance from Meniese. It's headed forward by Hollins for Tamworth. Now it's Chikuna, flips on to Ray, whose flag stays down. Chris Ray for Tamworth here, and he scores! Not very long to wait to get back in front. Chris Ray looked to just stay on side. Hollins header was well placed, and Ray passed onto it before drilling it low and hard into the far corner. Coming up two minutes into the second half, it's Tamworth two, all shot one. Akpan again. Got to feel that Tetek needs to get on the ball a lot more if it's going to help all shot find way back in the game, but they've lost possession here. Here's Shakuna again with Ray bursting forward. Shakuna, Ray runs away from him. Shakuna! Oh, yes! You have to say that is a sterling strike from Nathan Shakuna. He finds the top corner from about 20 yards out. An excellent curler over the head of Mark of Dewhurst. And Tamworth doubled the advantage. It's now 3-1 just before, just before the 55th minute. 
an excellent goal there, Alan. Yeah, we lost the ball just inside the uh, Tamworth half. It was, um, I think it was Dejan uh, Tetek who lost it, and the break from uh, Tiskuna was uh, swift, and he was allowed to carry on and uh, placed his shot in the far left-hand corner. So, good finish. Tamworth pressing intently every time they get the ball at midway inside the also harvest. Forced an error by Lockton and Bird again. Here's Finn, space for Ray. His face score here, he might be in. Here's Shakuna. Shakuna inside the box, composed himself, saved by Dewhurst. It's still inside the area. And eventually, all the avert the danger. Well, it truly could have been wrapped up there. Fortunately, it was a good block by an all defender, but that could easily have been four. Ball thrown back towards Jones. Here is Hargreaves. Too far away for a shooting opportunity. Akpan's his arms out wanting the wide ball but Bird will support him in receiving it here is James Henry again lurking outside the penalty area back pan Tamworth now just defending their area but they've got a long time to do it 10 men Sh behind the ball yeah, yeah. 10 plus 10 behind the ball ball into the box by Jones far post it goes Akpan and his header just over the bar he got an assist on Saturday that time would have been it would have been a great time to get a goal but just couldn't direct the header goalwards yeah, it's a, a cross deep to the far post. Akpan was coming in at pace and uh, he just couldn't keep it down, but um, it was a good move. It's a chance for Akpan to cut infield. They have to get something going here, all just in the stoppage time period. We made six minutes out of 17 added on. And plus, that's the minimum, remember, 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 there's still a couple of changes that time has made in this stoppage time period. Hargreaves into the space now for Corbett. Corbett to Henry. Henry, Corbett, inside penalty. Kai Corbett! Oh, he's blazed it over. A glorious opportunity opened up for Kai Corbett to break his duck for the season, but he spooned it over the bar. Um, yeah, I think uh, nothing's gone right for Jay Corbett this year. That was a golden opportunity. He just poked it and poked it over the bar. It was good, good little one two with James Henry. Thrown on the far side of the field. Yeah, Henry has uh, got that vision that uh, we've been lacking earlier in the game, but um, has it come too late? Yeah, it might be the case. I had to protect him because he played what best part of 75 minutes on Saturday. Obviously, a quick turnaround. You can't get someone to play two sets of nine minutes in consecutive games. All shot trying to create something here in the final few moments. Tamworth, some Tamworth legs just a little bit la laboring a little bit at the moment. Here's a ball in towards Akpan. Back heel, Corbett. Now Henry. Henry, Corbett with a chance. Corbett just lost his balance at the crucial moment. And ultimately, the ball just bounces harmlessly into the hands of Singh. Theo playing it across. Theo, yeah. yeah, sorry. <laughs> There's two of them. Uh, <laughs> there are two Jones on the pitch as well. One of them is Ryan. He's got possession of the edge of the box. That's a foul on Corbett. Again, right on the edge of the box. Yeah. Another free kick to the shot down. Uh, and a time like this, where we have, where we have only four minutes to go of the... 17 added on, he could do with getting this one right. Ryan Jones is around this one as well. Corbett's interested, but it will be James Henry. Henry shoots, Henry scores off the crossbar. Trusted Henry, he will deliver, and he's got his fourth goal in three games, reducing the arrears for order shot. 3 2 in the, what is it, the 14th minute of stoppage time. Uh, brilliant curling effort, and um, has it come too late? The home fans are angry at the referee not being able to end the game, but he kicks the ball away, that's just going to waste more time. Yeah, you can't do that. No, so Aldershot will have not more any more time. Time ends for them, it's the end of the match, the final whistle has gone. Tamworth at last, after five attempts, win their first game in the Vanarama National League. And what has to be said is a very feisty and gritty encounter. Aldershot are beaten here in the West Midlands by three goals to two.